The last topic student which we are going to study of this chapter is virus and viroid. These are also organism which is not included in five kingdom classification. First I will explain you virus, then I will explain you viroid. Speaking about virus, virus is neither considered as living nor non-living or you may consider it living as well as non-living. How? Because virus carry out one important process because of that process we call that virus as living. Apart from that process, nothing is carried out by virus. Virus doesn't respire, doesn't carry out digestion, no excretion, it never grows, nothing. That is why we call virus as non-living. And what is that process by which we call virus as living? The process is duplication or replication. It has a great ability of replicating itself. Because of that, we call virus as living. Now we'll see what are the features of virus. First of all, size. What is size of virus? Virus range into nanometers. That is from 2 nanometer to 2000 nanometer, which is 1000 times smaller or less in size compared to bacteria. Now, virus cannot carry out duplication or replication independently. It needs body of another organism. And the organisms whose body virus use, that body is now called as host body. So, it enters host body, use the physiological process of host body and increase its number. Until the numbers are increased in lakhs, it will never leave your body. Viruses are highly infectious particles. Very simple example I can give you regarding this thing that is conjunctivitis. You all know conjunctivitis spread just by seeing the person who is suffering from conjunctivitis. Another example viral cup cold and fever. Whenever there is a climate change, you must have experienced this thing. You suffer from sore throat, sneezing, coughing and mild fever. If one member in the family suffer from those things, after a few days you can see the another member is also suffering. And then to the third member and finally everybody suffer minorly from that disease. And this is because of viral infection. Now we are going to study the body structure of virus. Virus consists of only two chemicals. One is protein and second is nucleic acid. The protein forms the capsule of virus that is outer covering and the nucleic acid is present in the core of the capsule. There are two types 
of nucleic acid that is DNA and RNA. Virus can have either of it. It will not have DNA and RNA both together. Now we are going to study the crystallization of virus. We don't have to study in detail, we just need to know what is the meaning of crystallization and which scientist has first crystallized virus. The name of the scientist is Stanley. Mr. Stanley has crystallized virus for the first time. And why we need to crystallize? Before that, we need to know what is crystallization. You keep water in refrigerator or freezer, it turns into ice cube. That process is crystallization, very simple. Same way, viruses can also be crystallized. Now why we need to crystallize virus? Because we cannot capture virus externally. Once the virus is out of the body, it will turn into non-living. And if we want medicine for any disease, we need to study that virus. Then only we can have a cure for that viral disease. Before that, we need to study the structure of virus. And this virus can be captured only when the virus is inside the body. Let's take an example of AIDS patient. Now, I want to find out medicine for AIDS disease. What I have to do, first I have to study the structure of AIDS virus. From where I will get this AIDS virus? From the patient body who is suffering from it. So what I will do? I will collect the blood sample of this patient and I will freeze it. So whenever I require this virus to study, I will just melt down some part and study the virus. There are various technical procedure which you don't have to study in detail but remember this is how crystallization and for what purpose it is done is explained in your syllabus. Next we are going to study is types of virus. Whenever we study types we need to remember on what basis the types are formed. Viruses are formed or the viruses are categorized in three types on the basis of their host body. So let's see what are those host body. Virus can infect plants, virus can infect animals as well as they can infect bacteria. So we got three types of host body. On the basis of this thing, three categories of virus had been formed. And those categories are Now friend, we are going to study types of virus in detail. Speaking about plant virus, what will be the host body for plant virus? It is plant. Same goes with animal virus. Host body, animals. Same goes with bacterial virus. Host body is bacteria. Now one thing you have to remember student that bacterial virus is also called as bacteriophage. Phage means killing, bacterium means bacteria, killing bacteria, virus is called as bacteriophage. Now the next thing which we have to study is symmetry of this virus. Before knowing the symmetry, we should know the shape or the structure of the organism. How does plant virus look? Plant virus look either tubular or cylindrical. This is tubular, this is cylindrical. So, 
what will be the symmetry the symmetry will be bilateral or vertical now speaking about animal virus animal virus are generally circular or they are oval so if anything is circular the symmetry is radial speaking about bacteriophage bacteriophage is having a symmetrical body because the shape of bacteriophage appears like tadpole i will draw tadpole and show you this is how bacteriophage look so you cannot have any symmetry for the structure that is why they are asymmetrical the next thing which we need to know is which type of nucleic acid is present in this virus speaking about plant virus plant virus contain only rna animal virus may contain rna or dna speaking about bacterial virus they contain only dna so plant virus rna bacterial virus dna and animal virus dna or rna so these are the four point lab is example speaking about example of plant virus it is tmv virus tobacco mosaic virus speaking about animal virus example is herpes virus or hiv last is bacterial virus bacterial virus name is N13 or Lambda virus. Here we completed with topic virus. Now we are going to study what is viroid. That is the next part of this topic. But before that, student, we need to know economic importance of virus is there any economic importance of virus no mostly they cause disease but in a very important procedure virus are used and that procedure is called as gene therapy when we have to insert some gene inside human body viruses are used you will study this thing detail in 12th standard now we'll see who are called as viroids now we will be studying what is viroid viroid is a primitive form of virus how they are called as primitive form of virus because they don't contain capsule or capsid they contain only nucleic acid that is why they are called as nucleoparticle or nucleic particle now which nucleic acid is present in viroid the acid which is present is rna next we need to know what they or whom they infect they infect only plants so only plants suffer from viroidal infection no other organism can suffer from viroidal infection they can they contain 
low unit ribosome. That low unit ribosome is 16S ribosome. Here we complete it with the last topic of the chapter and this concludes the chapter. Thank you very much students.